What's going on guys? Trade deadline is now over and a ton of trades went down today. I'm looking at like the three biggest ones I think and doing videos on them. First things first, we have the Mark andre Fleury trade. Where Chicago trade him to the Minnesota Wild for conditional second round pick. It becomes a first round pick at the Wild make the conference final and Fleury wins at least four games. Kind of crazy to me honestly that, you know, Pittsburgh at the expansion draft paid Vegas a second round pick to take Fleury. Then Vegas gives him a new contract. They go to the Stanley Cup final with him, have good playoff success. They then give him to Chicago for free. And now he's getting traded for potentially a first round pick. Like, it's just kind of crazy, I think, how that all, you know, turns out. So right here you can see Florian Game, very solid goalie, 36 years old, one year left there at 7 million, 89 overall. I'm really curious what he'll do after this season when he retire. Maybe return to Pittsburgh, could be like in a tandem with Jerry, your mentor role. I don't know, I'm, I'm curious to see what he's going to decide. But, I mean, yeah, what's there to say about Mark Country Flurry? I'm pretty sure it's like top five or top three in games played and wins. So uh, the dude's a very, very good goalie. Uh, we're going to see right now in game. Is a first round pick enough? And then if not, is the second round pick enough? So we'll see kind of, you know, which one works. Now as you can see there, the value is pretty equal. I did forget to mention, um, Chicago is retaining 50% there. So the trade works for Minnesota. It's kind of funny too. Minnesota literally had an all-star goalie in Cam Talbot. And yet they needed to go out and get Flurry. So clearly the all-star game might have a little bit of an issue. Um, even then, with 50% retained, Minnesota would still be over league maximum salary cap. Alright guys, so I was able to work some magic to get this trade to work. So Mark andre Fleury, you can see, Minnesota is also interested in, as even in-game, they know they need a goalie. Now the question is, will they get up their first round pick for him? Again, it's going to be close. I'm thinking, especially at 50%, they might say yes. Medium difficulty. Trades rejected. You can see there, though, like, it's pretty close. Which is why I think, you know, a conditional first round pick in real life was actually pretty good value. It's just kind of crazy to me how... Literally, what, a year ago, <laughs> Vegas gave away for nothing. I don't know, like, why. Where was Minnesota when Vegas gave away for nothing, right? Like, they could have saved a first-round pick. I'm sure they'll like, give up the second-rounder now, and they do. So, the fact they say no to the first, yes to the second, I think a conditional second that can turn to a first is pretty fair value. And now, I guess we're going to try to trade from Minnesota's perspective, starting out with the second-round pick for Flurry at 50%. The Blackhawks want the second, but flurry has got probably double the value. So, yeah, trade rejected there, no surprise. Next here, we'll try the first. They might still say no, uh, just because of the 50% retention. And they do say no, okay. So next year, guys are gonna try trading for Flurry without 50%, starting out with the second rounder. Trades rejected, figured that. I feel like the first though, they're gonna say yes, even though he's on the block. Trades accepted, okay. So like I was saying, it looks like the conditional second was pretty good value. And next year, guys wanna take a look at the trade Minnesota made right after getting Flurry. They traded Kakin and a fifth to the Sharks for Jake Middleton, which doesn't make a whole lot of sense to me, like Jacob Middleton, 25. He's like a bomb pairing defenseman at best, more of like a replacement level guy. What I think the issue was is Kakin was going to get put on waivers, so rather than lose him for nothing, they figured they'd get something out of him, so Middleton can kind of plug in, you know, for injuries and stuff in the playoffs. The fact that they had to add a fifth round pick as well, though, is kind of crazy, and also, it kind of shows you how badly the Sharks overpaid for Aiden Hill. Like, they got a second round pick for this guy, and Kakin's definitely a better player, and they got him essentially for free. And yeah, no way Sharks are saying no to that. So after those trades, guys, here's what Minnesota's team's looking like. You got Kaprizov, Hartman, Zuccarello, first line. Boldy, Eric Snack, Fiala, second. Greenway, Jost, Felino on the third. Jost, of course, they traded Nico Sturm for. Uh, Delorier, they just got for like, what, a fourth round pick or something. Uh, playing with Goudreau and Duane. Hopefully I said that right. Uh, defensively, no changes. Brodeen, Dumba, Spurgeon, Goligoski, Meryl, Kulikov. Again, these are EA's rosters. I can't believe Brodeen's an 84. Like, that's so low for him. Flurry now. Starting goalie probably with Talbot backing him up. Maybe there'll be a tandem. I feel like it's got to be Fleury though as the starter. So um, Minnesota there definitely got better at the deadline. Um, I think you know Fleury is going to be huge for them. Their biggest issue definitely um, was goal tanking. If you think you ask any Wild fans. And next year, guys, before we end the video, I'll give you your first look at Mark Andre Fleury as a member of the Minnesota Wild. This one's definitely me. Weird to see. He's got the mask on, so you really can't see his face or anything. Rocking like the old school brown leather pads. And there you go, Flurry 29 on the wild. Doesn't look honestly as terrible as I thought it would. But that's gonna do it for this video, guys. As I mentioned, you're gonna have a couple more out on the bigger trades from today. If you enjoyed this one, leave a thumbs up. Let me know in the comment section which team you think won the trade. If you haven't subscribed yet, hit that sub button. And as always, guys, thanks so much for watching. Have a nice day. Goodbye.